Now that we've temporarily set our IP address, the next step is to log into the web manager and permanently set that IP address. To do this, you will see on the left-hand side a subset of the different configuration tabs that are available when you're not logged in. Uh, to, to log in, click on the login button. Uh, the default username is admin and the default password is private. For cybersecurity reasons, it is recommended that you do not leave this at default. Once you log in to the web manager, you'll have the ability to change that password. So once you log in, you'll see now that you have two more windows of configuration tabs, uh, configuration and diagnostics, as well as the information tab that was there before. If you expand the configuration tab, you'll have all the different menus um, for configuring the, the, the module. Um, to permanently set your IP address, you want to go to the Network tab, which provides you all the IP address information and networking uh, configuration for the, the module. Uh, you'll see here that it's still set to boot P, which again, if you were to power cycle it right now, the radio would go back to requesting an IP address via boot P. Uh, for this demonstration, we're going to set the static. Uh, and you'll see here that this disk window here is, is showing. This means that the configuration has not been saved. Um, to save the configuration, you can do it one of two ways. You can click on the disk here, or if you scroll down, you'll see Apply and Apply and Save. Apply applies any configuration change made in, in the web manager until a power cycle. Um, so if I, if I were to hit Apply right now and power cycle the module, when the module comes back up, it would still be in a boot P uh, IP assignment method. If I hit Apply and Save, it will write that configuration to the module and stay there permanently. So I'm going to hit Apply and Save. And once it's finished, you'll see the disk disappear, which means the, my IP address assignment is now static, and it's statically set to 192.168.0.254. So in this menu, you will, you will configure all of your IP address settings. Again, IP address, network mask, if you need a default gateway or a DNS server, um, if you need any DHCP services, um, which we'll go into in a later video. There are a lot of different menu tabs here of different things you can do. The, the main ones you want to focus on are A, the network tab for IP assignment, your WLAN setting tab. Um, this is where you are going to activate your WLAN interface or deactivate it if you need to. Um, select what wireless frequency you're going to be running on, what channel within that frequency, and also the power output of the module. By default, it's set to a very low power. Um, it can be adjusted dependent on the frequency and channel you're choosing up to 20 dBm. Uh, the third tab you'll pay attention to is the WLAN interface tab, where you can set your operating mode as an access point or client. Uh, you can set the network name that you're going to either broadcast as an access point or connect to as a client. The security mode, which is the, the type of security and the encryption you use, um, it is recommended that you use WPA2 AES. Um, the PSK means pre-shared key, which is the pass key you're using down here. Um, with your pass key, it's always important to create a strong password using upper and lower case letters, a combination of numbers and symbols in your password to make sure that it is not easily um, guessed. And then the last tab is going to be the system tab. The system tab is where you can do multiple things. One is updating firmware. So if you get a module that needs firmware updates, you can update the firmware from this tab. And also, you can change the default login password for the web manager. This is, so this is really important that you don't leave the default password to the web manager at, at private. Here's where you can change the password um, and make it a stronger one. So if someone were to find the radio on your network, they would not be able to log into the module.